Logan, and welcome back to me doing a reaction thing to Dragons, the Nine Realms. Today is episode five. It's titled Featherhide. Um, and I'm going to even dare guess that that's going to be the name that Alex gives her dragon companion. Featherhide? I don't, I don't know. I guess maybe her dragon's going to be very feathery. I, I don't know. I really don't know, but she is the more interesting character out of all of them. Uh, so I'm excited to see how she finds it or finds the dragon and how she gets acquainted with the rest of the kids and stuff. And, and yeah, I don't know. I got nothing. That's all I got. Let's do the reaction. <laughs> all right, here we go. They're all flying together. Well, maybe he wants to see the real thunder. Wow. I'm, I'm telling you, there's gotta be... Whoa, that's like an invisible dragon. <laughs> she's got two moms i mean i'm not complaining by any means but wow wow Wow. Wow. Parents of the year. Talk about peer pressure. The boom boom goodbye trick? Wow. Wait, how the hell did he do that? I like how she, yeah, I was about to say, Teaches them techniques that they've never done before. <laughs> wow. It's almost like he's not there. So I'm, I'm guessing the cloaky dragon's going to be her dragon. <sighs> oh, wow. Why are the dragons following her? Oh. She just walks away. <laughs> it's 
See, she's like the most practical out of all the kids. That is how a person reacts to seeing dragons. I don't know how that big ass dragon just got inside her house or through her window without making a loud ass noise. I don't get it. <laughs> Too much fresh air. <laughs> That's cute. Wow. We have feathers. Oh, look, she just tripped over it. Oh, and this one's sound. I like how he said it's your mom's. So casual. You have friends! <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, it can copy noises. I'm like, why am I hearing that noise? It's the dragon making the microwave noise. <laughs> oh, it likes fireflies? What, it's like a parrot? Why is it making regular noises? Why does it like Alex? You're like the last kid you saw, like... <laughs> and oh for a second i thought oh the dog just went away Aww. Yeah, she's so tragic. Touche. Touche. Yeah, and then you guys give them all terrible names. Yeah, it's just my dragon, not yours. I 
I don't understand why this dragon wants to bond with her. It's just, it's... Okay. Ah, uh, the cutie. I like how she's the only one that can bring her dragon home. So she can turn invisible. Oh. Wow. Spotlights. Goodbye, spotlights. Back, spotlights. Okay. Well, that's pretty genius. I like it. Ah, uh, cool. So we're going to see all their techniques. Wow, it just blends in like a rock. Um, I guess. <laughs> Wait, no. Oh, come on. What did the sheep do to you, dude? That's so mean. Uh, does he, I mean, I don't know. Are you playing with the fireflies or eating them? Gotcha. The dragon understands that. Come on. You don't understand me, but you understand me. How patronizing is this show? Wow. <laughs> wow. Wait, what? Now we're looking for his his dragon family. Yeah, this show is too subtle. You know, I I'm, I'm getting annoyed with. The genericness of the show of like, oh, you, you, you know, let me express my feelings to this dragon who doesn't understand English, but totally does. This to total dragon that we just met is going to do what I'm going to tell it to do. Oh, hey, Thunder, this is what you always wanted. You wanted a family. Like, when? When did he want a family? You met him stuck in a bunch of rocks. 
and then he was sapping you and you flew around when did the dragon acknowledge that he wanted a family what are you talking about stop making shit up just, just oh but anyway <laughs> Um, I like Alex. She is my favorite character overall. And today's episode solidified that she is obviously, obviously the best character of the show so far. Because she's the most grounded and the most, um, uh, char characterized char character. I don't know if I said that right. But think about it. She, uh, she, she, she hits a lot of, uh, check marks, you know, in, in a way. She, she hits a SJW thing with the two moms. Doesn't really bother me. Doesn't really interest me. Doesn't, I don't really care that she's got two moms. Good for her. Um, what I do care about is the fact that we actually get emotion and torture and, and whatnot with the character. In the sense that she talked about how, uh, you know, she, she wanted to... You know, like animals, she wanted to like dogs and pets and stuff. And then one day she tried to pet a dog, but the dog was like, fuck that stuff. I'm going to I'm gonna bite you and stuff. And it scarred her, you know, it traumatized her uh, where she became sort of introverted. And she realized that technology can never hurt her, which maybe sometimes, I don't know, maybe eventually. I mean, technology can still hurt you. But anyway, uh, she felt like being at home being secluded, being away from peoples or animals, you can never get hurt by that. And and I thought that was uh, kind of brave for the character to, to talk about it. And it felt so genuine. Now, the camaraderie, the companionship of her finding uh, her dragon doesn't really make any sense. It was just kind of like thrown in together. You know, it... it would have been more more um i don't know it would have been much more better if let's say both alex and this dragon were secluded and lonely and like afraid of adventuring that that's what brought them together but it didn't it was just like hey she needs a dragon you'll be the dragon yay that was it wow amazing character great so there's only one more episode for season one, and I feel like I can validate my opinion that this show is not as strong narrative-wise as I thought it was going to be compared to, like, Jurassic World, uh, Camp Cretaceous. Uh, it kind of almost scares me to see all these other shows that supposedly are critically acclaimed from DreamWorks. You know, I've been wanting to ch uh, check out Voltron and she -Ra and uh the troll hunters uh tv show uh but if it if, if I, I don't know this just this show feels flat and you know i dare say kitty fied you know and, and there's nothing wrong with that i guess you know it's just this show is definitely not for my demographic you know and again that's completely fine because you know i've watched other i don't know um i don't want to say children cartoons because you know it almost sounds insultive but i i've seen other animated shows where yeah it's catered to a certain age group but it also has enough of a story to you know keep an adult i don't know what to say it, it it is this is definitely for children you know and um i don't know um unfortunately I, i'm just not enjoying the direction of the show i mean to the point where i feel like even a kid is like go oh, fuck this this is boring this is stupid why the dragons why do they got stupid names I, I guarantee you, a hundred kids feel the same way I do. Why would you name it Thunder? <laughs> I don't know. I'm still not over that. Sorry. That about does it for my video. If you agree with me, let me know. Comment in the comment section. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And God bless you. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.